Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video what I'm doing is uh, soldering up some minty pie lights. Um, I'm going to do one as a giveaway and possibly uh, maybe more than one giveaway. We'll see. So I've shown you guys how to do it <clears throat> with hot air and just put solder all over the pads. I also showed you how to do it with stencil. So if you don't have a stencil but you have the solder paste like I have here, which is the one I linked to in my earlier videos. This this one here, it's a low temp, so it melts real low. You don't need to worry about melting the plastic on the connectors or anything, and it flows quick. <clears throat> so all you need is the syringe. You just put a little on each pad. Some of these components here, such as this one here, you know, I like to just uh, kind of go around the edge. You can always go over it with a hot air. It's not that big a deal. It's a little bit of a mess, I know, but it'll stop melting once we start flowing it with a hot air. It doesn't need to be perfect. Sometimes you got to wipe a little bit, but all you need to do is just put a little on each on each pad. This thing flows really good, as you can see. It's just squirting out all over the place so when I have like a big connector like this I just go right across all the pads it seems like a lot but once it all starts to melt it all just goes where it needs to Some people use a toothpick, I guess we could do that as well, but, you know, you can always clean up after with the, just the iron. I'm putting a very minuscule amount, trying to keep the flow under control. Once I squeeze a little bit, this thing just goes haywire. This is a fine pitch chip right here, so we're just going to go right across the pins. Small bead. Remember, we don't need a lot. So I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit just so it's not. It'll look a little better when we do it. I know it looks like crap right now. <laughs> but we just wipe it right off and start again. This time we'll go a lot lighter. Want some in the middle? You want to go just across the pads, real light, super small bead. Anyone wondering, this is lead free, so it's not going to kill me. I rubbed it all over my fingers. Okay, that should do it. So we are going to use the hot air for this. <clears throat> Much to my, like my last video. But first, let's get everything placed. Chip orientation always very important. Sometimes it's better off just rotating the board so you can get a better handle on the chip.
So we got this area all set. I know it looks like crap. But you guys will see in a little while. It'll look perfect. Okay, time to get the hot air going. <clears throat> Same as last time. Uh, Airflow is about five and a half to six and four hundred degrees. Okay, we're about up to temp, so we're going to start on this side here. You can see, it already starts to just go Because it's uh, the low temp solder. There's the stuff flowing pretty soon. I took the chip off just to make sure all these little blobs are gone. This is the kind of chip you don't want to have bridges on. It's such a fine pitch. Just trying to get this chip oriented. Just knock the solder balls out of the way. All right, let's heat this area up again. Probably have to come back and touch that up. Okay, that's all set. Now we're going to hit this one. Some of the residual heat from hitting that area has already caused these to melt. See little solder balls? Just push them off to the side.
All right, this thing is pretty much done. I'm just gonna have to go over this area here. You can see some solder balls forming. Let it, things cool off a little bit. Any excess solder just take out. So without a, a stencil, it kind of goes all over the place a little bit, and the extra solder ends up being these solder balls you can probably see right here. Here's a couple. The only thing I'm worried about is the bridging. I don't know why this keeps stopping the recording. Anyways, I hope we caught enough where we're able to uh, see what I did. So excess solder that's usually in between the parts pops out the sides and you'll see like little solder balls on the sides here. Uh, as I was saying, I want to make sure this one here has no bridging. So I could see I'm going to try to focus. Okay, right here, it looks good. There's no bridging there. Here as well, no bridging. That one has a bridge. So all we got to do is just go over it with the uh, your standard iron tip because this is low temp and of course you want a clean clean tip always to layer any extra solder out and I, I could see it's perfect when in doubt just on your tip uh, sorry you guys can't see too too well on the video here let me uh, try to zoom in a bit to, to focus Okay, so try not to hit that one. But at the angle I'm at, it's a little odd. Okay. You can see perfect joints. Perfect joints and perfect joints. So the complex chip is a piece of cake now. You know, with a little bit of the paste. Over here, everything looks fantastic. Over here, no bridging. Over here, no bridging. So the paste does a really good job. It's just controlling the flow is a little complicated. So this right here, this one's all set on the back side. On the front side, you can either do it by hand or if you want to go for the, you know, the paste one more time, let's do it. I have a bunch on the tip of the nozzle, so I'll just use that just to drop a little bit of paste on each corner. Because this is low temp, as I've said, this melts super quick and easy. As you've seen earlier in the video, as soon as I apply heat, it just turns to almost like liquid. Just like that. Magically moves into place. That's the best. That's what's awesome about flux and solder paste. All right. Hopefully, uh, the video didn't cut out too soon, where you missed a lot of the stuff I was doing. Uh, I'm gonna have to 
figure out why it keeps stopping the way it does as I'm recording. And uh, hopefully uh, somebody's going to win one of these bad boys before I uh, probably even have them from the factory to put it for sale. So I'll catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.